Okay, so we have the MacBook here. Uh, you may or may not have one with the uh, latch here. So we'll go ahead and hit this and take it off. Now you want to make sure you're grounded. You don't want to zap any electronics. Here's the new hard drive. There's the old one. And on this model, there is one screw right there. On others, there's a screw here and here. Uh, if you have the one where this is all one piece, you want to do the four screws. There'll be four more screws, and then you want to do those. So let me take this... Uh, really long screwdriver undo this now obviously you want to shut down the MacBook and there we go it just kinda of pulls out like that so here's the bracket has one screw in the middle has a spot for tabs uh, for the hard drive and you want to carefully remove the SATA connector so here's the old hard drive. Now if you want to look at the differences, this is a faster hard drive, 7200 RPM, double the speed or double the space, and you have these little pins, and on this one you don't. So you're going to have to take these off, place them in here, and then you'll be good to go. So uh, let's take a look. They're actually torque screws, so I'm going to have to go get my other bits to do this, uh, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any torques that small, and Allen head uh, won't work. Um, it's just kind of an odd shape. So, if you gently use a pair of pliers and grab this like this, you can just loosen them right up and they'll come right out. Um, you just grab them gently, squeeze and turn, and uh, they'll, they'll loosen up. You just got to be careful not to damage them. And they are there just to keep it from moving around. So. They're pretty small. Uh, they don't come out very easily. Uh, let's go ahead and it's like the worst thing possible, but um, yeah, they're just they're in there. So I'm going to go ahead and remove all four. Then I'm going to transfer them to these right here, uh, and then we'll come back and install the hard drive. Okay, so I've moved over all the. Uh, the little support tabs or whatever you want to call them. This is the old hard drive. This is 160 gig uh, Hitachi. This is a 320 gig 7200 RPM Seagate. So I'm just going to plug this back in. You want to do that carefully. That's it. Now put this part in. There's a couple little receivers right here for this. And then this piece will lock it down. This way, just make sure you've got it oriented right. Now, prior to putting this in, so uh, I ran out of space on the camcorder, but basically installed the screw, and that's pretty much it. Now, prior to this, I used Super Duper to copy from here to there, absolute duplicate. Boot it up, works fine. It's actually running. Uh, I tested it out since I had to charge the camera, delete some files, that sort of thing, but it works good. Uh, it's actually on in sleep mode right now, so uh, if you have one that you have to uh, have all these screws, you're just going to put the screws back in, put the top back on. For this, uh, we just take this, and that's it. Uh, that's pretty much it. Let me show you. It is, it is booted. We'll open it up here. And that's, that's it. It is a little bit faster now. I uh, haven't really played a whole lot with it, but... Um, that's pretty much it, and I've got 200 gigs left now as, uh, of my 320, so uh, pretty good. This is Aaron with Zolotech. We'll see you next time.